I'm Brian Mendoza, Senior Architect at CA Technologies. Today we are going to discuss CA's Digital Experience Insights and then focus primarily on App Experience Analytics for today's video. What is in CA's Digital Experience Insights? CA's Digital Experience Insights offers an integrated set of mobile and web end user, application performance, and infrastructure management services. It includes a single registration for all with a cross-capability workflow and a roadmap to further correlation. Built on the top of a powerful analytics engine that leverages open technologies, CA's Digital Experience Insights provides deep visibility, unique insights, and actionable recommendations to dramatically improve users' digital experiences. Now let's discuss what is App Experience Analytics. App Experience Analytics helps app developers visualize, investigate, manage and support user interactions with their apps. It provides deep insights into the performance, user experience, crash analytics, and log analytics of apps. App Experience Analytics helps enterprises or app developers understand the app behavior by gaining end-to-end -end visibility of the app performance, app usage, and the end user experience. Identify app performance issues quickly and understand user behavior and usage analytics. Apply real-time intelligence to improve user engagement. Capture and analyze mobile app crashes and errors. Analyze detailed mobile events to understand usage and performance. And collect usage analytics and performance metrics and many more features. In the following demonstration, you will explore some of the many features of App Experience Analytics using the provided Walk Me Through tool. We have logged into CA's Digital Experience Insights and will now open App Experience Analytics. Upon your first time launching App Experience Analytics, you will be presented with a welcome screen. Let's go ahead and take a look around and view the most commonly used metrics. The first thing we'll look at is problematic apps. Select the corresponding app. We are presented with an overview of usage and performance metrics. There are total sessions, total HTTP requests, total page hits, average user retention, users in the last 24 hours, and users for the entire month. We can also see our data maps are available as well. As you can see, we can drill down to more specific information by clicking Performance Analytics. Next, let's take a look at app screens. You have the option of choosing iOS, Android, or web app platforms, as well as different views of the data. Let's go ahead and look at some of the analytics we can choose from. There is App Performance, which details robust information on your app, such as latency, data sent and received, and both app and network performance. App Crashes and Errors details important information, such as crashes by platform, device, and carrier, as well as key stats like affected users and first and last occurrence. App Usage displays important information on your app by user type, new, active, and recurring, as well as my platform and carrier. Selecting App Sessions displays all of the app sessions in the selected time period, including flagged and crash sessions. Selecting App Screens displays metrics related to app performance, problems, and usage for all the screens viewed in the app. When selecting App Transactions, you will see the different transactions App Experience Analytics monitors, including crashed, incomplete, slow, and error transactions. Custom Metrics allows for deeper level insights for an app based on your business needs. You can also compare one app version versus another, or one platform versus another. Let's go ahead and take a look at the App Overview option. We see our usage and performance metrics again. Let's go ahead and look at the help and resources that are offered. We will go ahead and select Help. We can see we have many help options, from setup resources, to integrating your app, and additional resources. Let's head back to our Getting Started tour. The last stop on our tour is to take a look at Data Studio. Data Studio allows you to create custom visualizations using Kibana. Kibana is an open source analytic and visualization platform that allows you to perform advanced data analysis and visualize your data in various charts, tables, and maps. You can choose Discover, which allows you to search raw elastic data on your applications. Visualize, where you can create a new visualization, or the dashboard, which has the collection of visualized data and provides a robust way to filter and search on your applications. We will search for the session details, select the session. Here we can click within the visualized data to apply filters. 
By clicking Apply Now, the filters will be stored and the data changes. Now, let's look at the Visualize tab. We are now presented with several options. Area Chart, Data Table, Line Chart, Markdown Widget, Metric, Pie Chart, Tile Map, and Vertical Bar Chart. We will look at the pie chart. We will select our search source, select an index pattern, We can hover over the chart for more details. Under Buckets, we can click Split Slices to further analyze and dissect the information. And click Play to run the data. We can now see the filtered data. To the right, segments will appear. That concludes our tour of CA's Digital Experience Insights App Experience Analytics. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA's Digital Experience Insights, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or view the learning paths.